Hey HGTV, my name is Myron Griffin. Welcome to beautiful Shreveport, Louisiana. Home of centuries old bayous, grand old southern mansions, and your brand new design star. All right guys, well we're standing in front of a mural that I designed and entered into a contest and won, and I am very excited about this project because it really kind of gave a facelift not only to this kind of generic 1960s building, but really to the whole neighborhood. And I think it's the perfect backdrop to kind of describe to you the type of designer that I am. I really like an eclectic kind of a modern blend of transitional pieces, unique items, and it gives each one of my clients a very kind of a one of a kind, collected through the years kind of a look. It's the way I live, it's kind of where I live, and it really works for me as a designer. Now, I could tell you a little bit about myself. I'm kind of unique, a little bit of one of a kind, but I think a truer test would be to let my friends tell you what they think of me. So let's see what they have to say. Myron is unique. Vivacious. Controversial. Brazen. And gay. No, not gay. Just... <laughs> Cutting edge, is that a hyphenated word? Chartreuse. Opinionated. Ingenious. Bold. Creative. Funny as balls. Oh my goodness. Hilarity. Hilarious. Genius. Loving. Compassionate. Charming. Dear. <laughs> difficult. Has a temper. Crazy and trash can fabulous. Welcome to my home. Uh, it's a great house built in 1947. Uh, I love this house. I've been in it about six years. It's got this really cool glass block wall, which I'll show you a little bit more. But right now, it's a little chilly and wet Louisiana day, so let's go on in. This mantle is a perfect example of pretty much my entire life. Uh, I asked my grandmother for this, if I could have this mantle when she died, uh, when I was 10 years old. I love it. I wouldn't change a thing about it. Uh, I think it looks great. So Bill, it really tells a story that I've been doing this for like, 30 some odd years and it's just what I do. Hey, well now we're in the second sitting area of my house and this is probably my favorite room in my house uh, because it's got this glass block wall behind me and this is the reason that I bought the house in the first place. Uh, it's just really a cool unique feature. No one else has a glass block wall in their living room. I found this at an antique store in Kansas City for $30 and it's this great little uh, Danish modern design it's got this cool orange vinyl on it, which I originally was going to change, uh, get recovered, but it's got such a great patina to it and the color is so unique that I just didn't want to touch it. So let's go to a couple of my clients' houses and I'll show you just how I kind of tried to give them the same type of eclectic, uh, kind of collected through the time look that I have here. Kind of a unique feature of this room is that there's actually no sofas. And when I presented the idea to, to the walkers about not having a sofa, they were like, what are you talking about? You can't have a living room without a sofa. And I'm like, you actually can. So we put together these four kind of mid-century style chairs, which are done in natural and charcoals. And then I alternated the colors just to kind of make it a little more visually interesting. But what we did then was just tie it in with a more traditional rug. Miss Walker loved her tradition. So we had to tie that, those two in together, and I think it's kind of done seamlessly. I think it looks great. They get lots of compliments on it. They love it. I love it. Everybody loves it. What's not to love? All right, guys, we're now we're in this really sleek contemporary bonus room that I designed for a client. I got really general guidelines on this room, uh, just fun and funky. I not only gave them that, but I gave them sleek, stylish, contemporary, and they absolutely love it. And that's why I'm so passionate about designing, is taking really nothing and turning it into something, not only pleasing myself in the process, but absolutely pleasing my clients. I wanna be on Design Star for three main reasons. Uh, number one, to show people that they can have a really well put together, unique room without spending a ton of money. Uh, number two, to showcase my skills uh, and my personality, maybe make a few people laugh along the way, that's always a bonus. Uh, and number three, to get on the show and just kick some bootay. I have what it takes to win this show. I've got the passion, I've got the skills, I've got all the things that y'all are looking for. I just need your help in getting on. So give me a call. Myron!